Hello all dinosaurs and welcome back to a brand new video and today we have 20 brand new Jurassic World Dino Escape mini dinosaurs to open okay so let's go all right first let's open this pack with a pair of scissors really excited these are actually new um addition I think there are a couple of new figures um so check this out there's actually many many new figures in this collection okay so let's take a look all right so the first one right here is actually a baryonyx all right let's move on and take a look i think there is a new um parasaurolifer so i'm really excited to see you know how it actually looks like so let's go all right this is actually a pteranodon which is green in color i think this is also a new paint scheme so check out the um, this checklist right over here. You can see this is a beautiful Parasaurolophus. I think this is my most favorite one. And there are actually some new um, species in it. All right, so this is a Pteranodon. Next up, let's open up another pack. We are going to open up all 20 different packs together, okay? So let's go and have a look. The next one is actually a Triceratops. I think this Triceratops is actually um, similar to the previous, you know, version. But that is fine. We will open more. Let's open this up. Hopefully, this wouldn't be a case, you know, where it's similar to, um, you know, the captive eggs where we just keep on getting the same figures. All right. This is a brand new Conotaurus, as you guys can see. Um, the patterns on its body is actually very different from the previous ones. I think we have um, the Conotaurus right over here from the previous um, series. So you can see there is definitely some changes. And you can see there is a scar right um, on the right hand side of the snout. So this is, this is definitely um, Toro. Alright, very cool. I'm going to place all these minifigures um, next to me on this part over here okay so that's fine all right let's move on let's open up more pack more packs i mean so let's open this up to be really careful not to cut your fingers okay and not a baryonyx but this time it is a different one i think this is actually our um, like baryonyx limbo i'm gonna put it at the side of um um, the box right over here. So we will do a comparison with the larger figures later on. All right, let's open this up right now. I'm gonna open from the bottom of um the pack so that we don't really damage um, um the packaging. All right, nice. This is actually a new Ankylosaurus, which is different from um, the previous version. This is definitely bumpy. So let's have a close up look at this. Really beautiful figure. So bumpy. So pretty cool. We have got plenty of um, new figures that we don't have. And let's open up more. We can open up every single one of them before we actually show you um, the larger figures for comparison. And another Triceratops right over here. Okay. But that's fine. I'm gonna place the Triceratops right at the side right over here. Okay. Hopefully we can get the Parasaurolophus. I think that is the one which I want the most. Of course, we want the entire set. Oh, another Baryonyx. Okay, this is slightly disappointing, but that's fine. We have a um, couple of Baryonyx in the past as well. So you can see there's actually different Baryonyx. Um, you know, this, is, this one should be like Chaos. So we have plenty of Baryonyx. But of course, certain ones are actually the same as the previous series. So let's open this up. Oh, we've got a another Baryonyx. And this should be Baryonyx Limbo, if I'm not wrong. Okay, hopefully we can get... This one seems huge. So I think this could be um, a Triceratops. I'm not sure, but... Oh, it's a green T-Rex. That's cool. I think we have a similar version, but this one looks slightly different. But that is fine. That is fine. Have you guys seen this? This is the new Dracorex, which was released like a couple of weeks back. So this is actually a very, very cool figure. 
I am not too sure what is the nickname of um, a Baryonyx So, I mean, what does the name mean for a Dracorax? So if you guys can help me out and just comment down below, that will be helpful Let's open this up as well, this pack right over here Oh, we have the brand new Seeds Miko Room Yes, this is the figure that I always wanted to get This is the first Seeds Miko Room that Mattel has produced for a minifigure So finally, we have got this Really cool, really really cool Mini Seeds Miko Room we have a huge figure right inside this box, so I will show you guys later on. But we have to open up every single one of um, these boxes, I mean this blind bags right over here, okay? So hopefully you can get the entire set. I'll be getting more of these blind bags so that we can actually open, you know, a few of them in every episode of our um, videos. Nines, we have a brand new Irritator. Yes, this is a small figure of an Irritator. The very first one So this is like the first uh, I mean this is a new um, addition to the new series You know, previous series they don't have this irritator But that's fine So finally we've got, you know, something new Really nice Let's open up more Okay Another Baryonyx And I think this one should be Baryonyx Chaos the paint scheme is definitely the same as um you know the ones from all the previous um series from series one and series two. So let's open this up. So be, be really careful not to cut your own you know fingers or the figure itself. You have to be really careful. Triceratops looks like this triceratops is actually very common. So there are actually 15 different types to collect. So I don't think we I don't think we have managed to get, you know, all, all the um, different ones So, this is a PD, but that's fine Alright, we have Bumpy yet again, so another, you know, similar figure So let's open this up as well Alright, um, this is blue Um, I think this is like an improved version if I'm not wrong But it still looks kind of similar to the previous ones from the previous series But we will do a comparison later on I've brought um, you know, the minifigures and I've placed them right behind So let's open this up as well So let's go Another Baryonyx, looks like we are getting a lot of repeats You know, it's not easy to get the entire set You have to purchase like Plenty of them. Triceratops is yet again. Yes, we are getting so many similar ones. It's kind of disappointing. Blue. Oh my goodness. That is fine. Our last pack of the day. Oh my goodness. I mean, if you take a look at a checklist, there are still many figures that we didn't get. We know we have got Green, we have got Chaos. Uh, we still haven't got the, um, this new Stegosaurus or the Brachiosaurus Seeds uh, Micro, we've, we've got it So we basically need Tabosaurus as well This is a new addition and the Parasaurolophus um, It's kind of disappointing but I'll be getting more so that you know we can finally complete the entire set hopefully So there you go, another green T-Rex But this is nice, I mean I, I love the T-Rex Alright I think it's time for us to take a look at some of our latest addition to our collection, okay? So, have you guys seen this Zuni Ceratops? I'm not too sure whether you guys have already seen this This was actually released like a um, couple of weeks ago So we just got, we just reviewed this like last week Yeah, really nice Zuni Ceratops is actually a Ceratops option, But I'm not too sure what does the name mean So I need the help of you guys, okay? Next up um, these two figures are not new, but this is basically Alio Ramers and Scylla Rouge But right over here, we do have a brand new um, Velociraptor I think, I think this is Delta, if I'm not wrong I'm not exactly sure Because there are so many different you know, color variants right now This is a Charlie uh, We have also have um, some new Gallimimers so This is not the new one, the new one is actually right over here 
this came along with um Darius figure you know if you guys do not know Darius is actually uh, the little boy in Camp Cretaceous the very very intelligent and resourceful boy and right over here we have um the slash and battle um, Scorpius Rex and I have actually ordered the new slightly smaller version green colored version Scorpius Rex and uh, it should be arriving in one or two weeks time and once it's here I'll definitely show it to you guys immediately okay next up we also have on um, the Amagosaurus I heard there will be a new repaint of the Amagosaurus. I can't wait for it because I feel this Amagosaurus colors, it looks a little bit dull to me. So if they can come up with a new color variation, that would be nice. Kelly I think this color is fantastic. Triceratops Sound Strike. All right. But speaking of Ceratopsians, we do have a couple of new Ceratopsians, uh, which I will show you guys later on. But some of the latest um, addition includes, uh, which includes this one right over here, the Kaka Rodontosaurus, the shark tooth lizard. All right, you can actually see it comes with this harness, so you can actually remove it. You can you can press this button and let it let it break free. But you can see this is a beautiful, fantastic figure. I I love this. And we can probably do a repaint of the Kaka Rodontosaurus. Um, we haven't. We haven't done like a repaint for like a couple of months so it's time for me to get back to uh, repainting i'm gonna paint the indominus rex into a black color version um, yeah so check this out this is the, a new blue figure with painted toe claws sako Sukers, this is one of my most favorite figures from mattel because the colors are really really fantastic so you can see um this is the massive bite of sako Sukers. With like movable tail and um, um, neck and jaw, so I think the Sakosukus is actually known as the Flash, Flash Crocodile, if I'm not wrong. So if you guys, you know, if I got it wrong, please correct me. So you can see there are actually many figures of Parasaurolophus. You have the green version right here. You have this yellow version. So the the new one is definitely something that I really like. It's like translucent. It's it's really cool. Um, here is the Ceratosaurus. This Ceratosaurus has no sounds or um, this is basically not a... Um, uh, it doesn't have sounds basically. <laughs> yes, and speaking of figures with sounds, I am very sure that you guys have seen this before. The Sound Strike um, Sinoceratops, the Chinese horned face, okay? Next up, another Sakusukus, but this is the, the very first one. The new color variation, the more colorful version is definitely the one I prefer more. What about you guys? And have you guys seen, um, seen this, which is the Ocean Protector Mosasaurus? I'm not too sure whether you guys have seen it, but it is a fantastic figure. And speaking of fantastic figure, we have another one, which is really, really awesome. This is a Storm and Escape. Um, Tyrannosaurus Rex. I think this has got to be one of the most fun one out there. But I still feel the epic roaring T-Rex is the best one because it can actually vibrate. So it's really really cool. So this it's Bumpy, and um this is Bumpy in a smaller version. Of course, there are plenty of Bumpy figures. This is the raw attack Bumpy figures with like three notches in this switch. Really, really cool stuff. Yeah. Um, speaking of Ankylosaurus, I've actually brought other Ankylosaurus you know, to show you guys. This is actually um, a Rory Ball. The sounds are not working. That's fast. So we got to replace the batteries before it corrodes inside um, you know, the figure. All right. So let's get the Ocean Protector Mosasaurus out of the way. So you can see it has a movable tail. Yes, as compared to the real few Mosasaurus, you know, the tail can't be moved. Alright, and right over here, we do have um, two really beautiful painted um, Albertosaurus. So this is a battle damage. I love this color scheme. You know, this color scheme actually matches with the box. I would call this color turquoise. Yeah, it's really nice. So you can see the battle damage um, 
mechanism right over here and this is a green version and these two are actually pretty rare so this is the Seats Micro Room that I was actually uh, referring to I'm not too sure whether I've got the pronunciation right it, or it could be known as the Syed's Micro Room so this is the smaller version so you can see the colors look uh, pretty amazing I really love it um, this Seats Micro Room it's actually a um, I'm not too sure whether to call this a massive biter probably so yep and speaking of new um, figures, this is actually the um, Mega Destroyer Stegosaurus. It looks so cool. There's plenty of articulation, so you can actually press the buttons on this, uh, the plate. Of course, it, it comes with a harness, but I didn't bring it because it's always very um, troublesome to actually show you guys. Alright, and speaking of Stegosaurus, there are actually many different types of Stegosaurus. You know, this is another one. This is the Dewar Attack um, Stegosaurus. Um, sorry, this is not the Dewar Attack. This was the Stegosaurus that came along with a Ceratosaurus. Really nice one, and I think it also came with a Darius figure, if I'm not wrong. And right over here, we have a um, the first Stegosaurus, which is really cool, but the colors definitely can be much are improved. This is known as the Action Attack Stegosaurus, the very first one that Mattel produced. Alright, of course, these are some of my collection. I think this consists of almost all of Mattel, you know, huge figures. So this is the very first wave of the Triceratops, the very first Rory Vaughn of uh, Mattel. Um, this is another Sinoceratops, Soundstrike, Cam Cretaceous. Um, series and another stegosaurus you know, just to show you guys there are so many different stegosaurus from Mattel this color scheme is pretty cool um, this is a dual attack so this button actually moves the neck and um, the head and the other one swings the tail yeah really nice figure as well um, this is the um, Matria Cantosaurus, a much forgotten species. Yeah, it's, you know, I'm not a huge fan of the jaw cause you see when it opens up, this portion actually looks longer than the upper jaw, but when you push it right in, it's sort of like close up nicely. Yeah, not a huge fan of this figure, but you know, I feel you know, Mattel can probably do like a repaint and I love this Parasaurolophus because it reminds me of the Parasaurolophus that you know we have missed. So we are definitely going to get more of this um, little blind bags, and hopefully we can get um, the figures that we 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 lack. All right, okay. Um, Tappy Jarrah. Not too sure whether you guys can remember this flying reptile right over here. Okay, this is like all the way back in like twenty. 20, a pretty old figure. Silarus, this was actually released early, early this year, earlier this year. And this was the first Sinoceratops. Yes, Mattel actually named this dinosaur as a Sinoceratops on its box when it was first released. But this is actually a Pachyrhinosaurus. So there was a mistake, um, you know, from, from Mattel. Yeah, when it comes to the naming of the dinosaurs, but that is fine. That has been corrected, and this is Baryonyx, and this is the very first Parasaurolophus that Mattel has actually um, produced, and this is the Dewar Attack. So you can see two buttons, two functions. When there are two functions, it is known as the Parasaurolophus. I mean, it's known as the Dewar Attack. And here is another mini figure of a Parasaurolophus. We do have like. You know, three three different types of color scheme for a Paris Revolvers. Um, I think this is Limbo, if I'm not wrong. I really can't remember all the colors and different. So this is the um, Baryonyx Raw Attack figure. So push it right in front. Three notches. Yeah, three notches. And you can see the claw. The first claw is actually very big and heavy, which is why the name actually means the heavy claw, right? All right, um, irritator right over here. So let's find our small little irritator figure, which we have just 
got um, you know that we have just opened so I really like this so you can see in terms of the colors they look exactly the same but of course um, the size and the scope is different so this is a sound strike really nice one but the jaw you can't open it you have to open it manually on your own so but that's fine I really like this a lot Okay, Raw Attack Ceratosaurus, which is added to our collection very recently, I think like two weeks ago. So similarly, it has three notches on its switch. So this is neutral. This is the default. One, two, and three. Really nice. So at the last notch, the jaw is actually opened at the widest um, angle, widest, um, yeah, widest range. Ceratosaurus is known as the haunt lizard because of the huge haunt right in front of his um, snot On top of his snot, I beg your pardon Gilly Mimer is right over here And this is actually a brand new Dimorphodon that was just released a couple of weeks back as well A new 2021 Dimorphodon Really nice figure Tarbosaurus, we didn't manage to get um, the mini um, figure. I actually brought this to do a comparison, but unfortunately, we didn't manage to get um, the minifigure of it. But that is okay. That is okay. This is Baryonyx Green, a sound strike. So I think the way I can actually remember um, the difference is you know, Baryonyx Green actually has a brighter green to it. So yeah, I, I try to remember it this way, but you know, not for Charlie, not for Delta. It's really hot. And this is actually Echo. Yeah, so there are so many different vari color variations of Echo. It's really, really getting confusing. Yep. Conotaurus Toro, it's really simple for you to actually recognize. Um, this is the Control and Conquer Conotaurus Toro. So the moment you see this scar on the right hand side of the snout, it is actually um, um, Conotaurus Toro because the default, the generic Conotaurus does not have a scar on the right hand side of the snout. All right, the colors are slightly different. So this was the very first control and conquer Conotaurus. But it was not the first Conotaurus that Mattel has produced. The first Conotaurus that Mattel actually created is this one, which was my very first most favorite figure from Mattel. Okay, this is the Action Attack Conotaurus. Um, I feel this is still pretty good, but it has a pretty prominent screw hole, if I remember correctly. Yes, yeah, right over here. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty obvious. You know, you don't find this screw hole in um, other figures as set for this, but that is so much better than, you know, what, you know, the Hasbro has produced previously. So this is a concavenator. Um, I think this is like a forgotten figure as well. A really nice um, dual attack figure. So you can see this one actually swings the tail. There are actually two concavenators. This one right here is another one. I'm not too sure what happened to this part of the tail, but two concavenators right over here. Um, I think the name. Concavenators actually means the hunter of Quenka, if I'm not wrong, if I remember correctly, okay? Of course, we have the Indoraptor, and do you guys know that uh, Indoraptor was actually not, you know, not the first, I mean, I mean, the first was actually thought to be Indominus Rex, but, but the actual fact is that Scorpius Rex was actually the first hybrid that was ever created by Dr. Wu. Yes, it was created before the Indominus Rex and also before the Indoraptor. It was like a field specimen, a field experiment. We have plenty of um, Ceratopsians right over here. So this is actually a dual attack on Triceratops. It doesn't have any sounds to it. Do you guys like the figures with sounds or do you guys prefer without sounds? For me, I really do like the figures with sounds, but you know, after a while, you have to replace the batteries because they actually run out pretty fast. 
This is the sound um sound strike. Is this known as sound strike? Uh, yes, I think sound strike Cryolophosaurus. It was considered very new, you know, last year. And here's another sound strike at Montosaurus. I think you know at my local Toys R Us, you can actually find plenty of this at Montosaurus lying around because nobody wants to buy it. It's a really really poor thing at Montosaurus. Um, it's actually known as the Edmunds Lizard, I'm not, I'm not too sure. So I need the help of you guys to tell me what does the name mean. And with a couple of um, Dimorphodons, this is actually a pretty new one as well. There are at least like five to six different Dimorphodons. Yeah. And this is like one of the latest Monolophosaurus that you can actually find. A better damage one. Pretty cool. Okay. Um, here's another Albertosaurus, a better damage um, version, really nice figure as well. So I always have problems um, fixing this reed cage. It doesn't... Okay, now it, now it works. Nice. Okay, this is a um, Soundstrike Tyranodon. Really nice one. Two different actions and two different sounds. Yeah, really nice one. Yeah, so I wanted to show you guys like, you know, different pastoral offers that we can actually find But this is the, the, the first one But unfortunately, we didn't get it And this is a Baryonyx, probably Limbo, I think And this is a um, Brachiosaurus We were hoping to get, you know, like maybe like some sauropod right over here So we, we still don't have this Brachiosaurus in this color Yeah, there's still at least like five that we, we should get but I've actually purchased more, so I'll be really, really happy to get all of them. Another sound strike. Really nice one. Okay. Brought all this to do comparison. Carnotaurus, you know, to a Pedasaurus. Don't feel sorry for me, but you know, cause we would definitely get um, all the figures that we, we need. Baryonyx Chaos. Oh dear. Sounds are no longer working. We need to replace many of the batteries once again. Okay, this is a Soundstrike Trilophosaurus, a um, new Camp Cretaceous version. You know, it may not be from Camp Cretaceous because there are so many new figures, it's really hard for us to actually remember all of them. Suko Mimers, um, pretty long forgotten. Hopefully, they can come up with them. Um, you know, maybe like a Soundstrike of it. That would be really nice because I really love the sculpt of this figure. Um, yeah, there's actually another um, Sukomimus right over here. So this is the Dewar Attack Sukomimus. Yeah, so if they can do like a repaint or introduce one with like, you know, sounds, that would be awesome. Sticky Moloch, I wanted to show you guys like, you know, different uh, minifigures. So you can see the patterns on this body is actually different. And you can see the head is also slightly different as well. Um, one has a um, darker tone, okay? And we are now left with two figures. Allosaurus, really, really long forgotten. This is the only Allosaurus Rorivore. They should do like a um, repaint of this. They should do like a soundtrack of this. And uh, Majingosaurus, a pretty new addition. And this is the only Majingosaurus that you can find out there. So yes, these are the new Dino Escape um, figures, but we didn't manage to get the entire set. But we will be getting the entire set sooner or later because I've just placed, um, I'm just going to purchase more and um, open more in the next couple of videos, okay? So thanks for watching this, and I will see you guys in the next video, okay? Goodbye. And do, okay, all right, I think it's maybe um, I have to choose my top three most favorite figures to show you guys in this box. Mosasaurus is definitely going to be um, one of my most favorite from this box. Um, probably Scorpius Rex. Scorpius Rex, I really love this figure a lot. Um, I can't wait for the green one to arrive. Yes, there's a smaller version, which is greenish in tone, okay? And um, right over here, it's actually a um, Storm and Escape T-Rex. So this three are definitely my most favorite figures in this box. What about you guys? And tell me what other collection you guys want me to make in the next video, okay? 
drop some comments down below and i'll see you guys next week for the next video goodbye